Valentine's Day is the time to give your loved ones either chocolates or jewelry. But here at Tumble Home Learning, we have a great idea. It's chocolate fossil jewelry. And I'm going to show you how to make it. It's real simple. We start with a mold, and it's the Tumble Home Learning Fossil Mold. And I have two of them here. And a bag of your favorite chocolate, and you can use any kind that you want to. We have a dark chocolate here. Um, little bags to put the chocolates in afterwards. This is a plastic bottle that you would get at the store that you would get your candy mold material from. And if you put the chocolates in here, you'll find that it's easier to melt the chocolate and put it into the molds. So we're going to make some chocolate molds, some chocolate fossils here to give to uh, a person I know who really loves dinosaurs and dinosaur fossils. First we start by opening the bag of candy chocolate. Then take the, can the candy chocolate and just put it into the plastic bottle. I usually fill it about halfway. You take the plastic bottle filled with chocolate and put it in your microwave. Then you set the oven for a medium heat. And the best way to do this typically is the defrost setting. And then you want to set it for 60 seconds, for a minute. Sometimes the chocolate doesn't melt in 60 seconds. So at the end of the first cycle, you want to check the bottle to see whether or not the chocolate is melted. If it's not completely melted, you want to put it back in and then go on 60 second cycles again until it's melted completely. If you use a higher setting, then you're going to have chocolate all over your microwave. Alright, that looks nice and melted. Okay, so you take the chocolate squeeze bottle and you can now easily squeeze the chocolate into the mold. You want to shake the mold every so often to even out the chocolate throughout the entire mold form. Now here, you want to be very careful about taking the chocolate and putting it around where the opening is going to be for the jewelry. And fill each one of these almost to the top. You're going to do that for every single one of these mold forms. Shake the bottle every so often so the chocolate comes to the tip. Careful not to overfill them.
right to the end. So a half a container of chocolate wafers will make one complete set of molds. You can use a spoon to get it nice and even in there, the end of a spoon. We take the chocolate mold and we put it in the freezer for 15 minutes. It's been 15 minutes. Let's check on the chocolates. There we go. Now all we have to do is take the chocolates, turn them over, and nudge them out. Sometimes you have to let them sit for a minute to warm up to room temperature so that they can fall out on their own. See? We'll let that sit for a minute. Okay, we've waited about 10 seconds and just wiggle it a little bit and the chocolate comes right out of the plastic molds and there we have five chocolate fossil jewelries and all you have to do is put a chain inside each one of these holes and you've got a very special piece of jewelry for the person you love for Valentine's Day. <laughs>